Popeyes. You know what? We're going to get some rain today. You know that. Yeah. You guessed it. Yeah. But we're also going to get some heat. In fact, it's going to feel more like 105 at times. Tomorrow, the same setup. So I'm a little Ooh. concerned about all the folks who are going to be yeah. getting those seats early. Yeah. They're in Altamont Springs Trying today to and then them. Lake Eola tomorrow. You've got to get out there oh, early to get there. a good seat for all those fireworks. So the heat's going to be the big story before the rain comes in. And then it clears out in most areas just in time for the fireworks. So good news, bad news there. Here's the weather setup. Warm and muggy conditions to start. Sea breeze storms fire up as we head into the afternoon, really after 2 o'clock, but really the worst at around 5 o'clock when most folks are on the roads. But a lot of folks may be off from work. Lucky you if you are. The 4th of July, of course, tomorrow. More heat and more storms. We're going to talk more about that. It's all as the sea breezes fire up and we have a lot of humid air in place and that's helping to set the stage for those showers and storms as we heat up this humid atmosphere with some sun. A a little bit later on. You can see right now a good mix of sun and clouds there in Volusia County, Daytona Beach, the pier looking good. I saw a couple of people running along the beach just a moment ago. A good time to do that, although it's a little sticky out there. We're at 77 and because of that sticky air, it feels one degree warmer. It feels like 78 humidity there in Volusia, Daytona Beach up to 94%, but 100% inland here in Orlando. We're at 75 in Orlando. We're at 80 degrees in Leesburg and 79 in Cocoa Beach. That's not the half of it later today, though. We're talking about Temperatures up to 106 when you consider what it feels like in the villages by 2 this afternoon. As we point out that clock, 104 is what it will feel like by 2 at Cape Canaveral, 97 in Orlando, 99 in Daytona Beach. So most areas feeling brutally hot. Take those breaks if you're outside for long and drink a lot of water. Now here's a look at the Pinpoint Accurate Forecast. Your forecast brought to you by Del Air Heating and Air Conditioning. So today's actual high getting up to 92 at 4 with rain chances up to 50% this afternoon. And then if you're heading to Altamont Springs there for the big red hot and boom temperatures at noon in the upper 80s near 90, 92 by 4 with rain chances at 50% then and then all the rain is likely to clear out and push over to eastern zones as we head into fireworks time. Now here's the breakdown for the rain by 4 this afternoon on through 5 drive time. Rain pushes in from the west over to eastern zones, but really at that point, four or five o'clock, right along I-4, heavy downpours, some strong wind gusts and lightning. And then by seven tonight, most of it's over in Volusia and Brevard counties, and then clears all together, certainly in time for fireworks there in Seminole County and much of central Florida. If you're making some plans tonight, we're looking good around 8 o'clock. Temperatures today by 4, right around 90 along the coast. Inland a touch warmer, the low 90s. But here's a look at your 7-day forecast, and you'll see rain chances fairly high for today and tomorrow. And then a little break. We'll see a 30% coverage on your Wednesday. And again, the rain comes to an end tomorrow as well in time for fireworks. Rain chances all the way up to 70% by Saturday.